Hello everybody, Z3KO Trinity here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Dragon Ball Z little tiny balls. Actually, it's my whole Dragon Ball Z collection. It's going to be a two-part episode. Part one is going to be the books and DVDs, and the next one's going to be my action figures. But I want to start off with my actual Dragon Balls. They have a bigger version and a smaller version. I just got the small version, so what ifs. But here's all the mangas. Number one. Number two. Number three. Switch hands. Number four. Number five. If you happen to hear noise in the background, that's my family talking. They just got back home. Uh, number six. Number seven. Number eight. I like the art on these books too. Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z have always been a big part of my life. It was my childhood, it was my friendship uh, with my best friends. Just everything about Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z was perfect to me. This was my absolute favorite, favorite manga. And favorite show and um, until Death Note came out Death Note is now my favorite but Dragon Ball Z is my other favorite oh shit I'm trying to get my cup out of the way let's screw this shit up number 15 Dragon Ball that kind of looked like Gohan and then finally number 16 that's all for the Dragon Ball stuff. Kind of scoot that out of the way. Now for the Dragon Ball Z, which is a white, uh, white back. It's weird how they show the Super Saiyan on the back of the first book. It must be a remastered <laughs> number three instead of the original. Uh, number four, Piccolo front cover. Number five, Bulma. Majority of these are have Bulma on the front cover. I think that's kind of funny. Number six. Uh, number seven. It's a cool, cool front picture there. Getting into the Frieza saga. I thought it was a 24. I was like, wait. <laughs> How did my 24 book get out of order? Number nine. Nice little cover there. Number ten. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z, uh, I first got into it whenever my best friend Chris, he came up to the house and he had the very first video game. And he said, have you ever heard of Dragon Ball Z? I said, no, what's that? And he said, well, it's like a fighting show uh, with superpowers and stuff. You might like it. And, uh... We played the video game, and I didn't know who any of the characters were, but they all looked really cool. And if you remember the first one for the PS1, or the PS2, I mean, uh, the kind of like claymated one, uh, that's the one we played. And I like sucked. He kept killing me over and over again. And I tried different characters. I was picking randoms like Android 19, Dr. Zero. I was just picking random people. And he told me that Goku was the number one person. So I didn't want to pick him because all oh, the number one person must be the strongest. This one's thicker than the others. Number 25. Must be like a specialty book or something. And no, I have not read these. I don't know why I haven't, but I haven't. This one's also a thick one. It's the final Dragon Ball Z book uh, that they made. They did not make Dragon Ball GT mangas. I forgot something. I forgot the newest edition. Volume 1 of Dragon Ball Super. With the nice little back cover of the Gods of Destruction. and Super Saiyan God Move Super Saiyan. Uh, moving on over to the blue, uh, the DVDs, I got the uh, 
all of these remastered but before we start on them. Uh, I do have season one. I'm letting a friend borrow it. He's starting a marathon. So that's where my number one is. I'm pretty sure the front cover is like Kid Goku. But to continue the story, I picked Vegeta. I didn't know he was like the next best character or whatever. And I actually beat my friend uh, in the match. And I was like, oh, well, I'm going to stick with this dude because he seems pretty badass. And like I said in my other video, he was pretty badass. Until, well, super, and then he kind of became, like, really nothing. At least I think he did. But I wish that they would make him something. He had, um, Chance in the resurrection of Frieza. But, of course, we all know how that ended. Screwed everything up. Majin Vegeta is my favorite form of Vegeta, by the way. That's when I thought he was the strongest... At least in my opinion. Season 9. Um, these ones right here is the GT of the same HD remaster. They only had two seasons. But anyway, I borrowed some of his uh, DVDs. Or VHS tapes back in the olden days of Noor. I think these... No, these don't have a side picture. They do if you open the... Uh, Binding up, you see right there, if you put them all together, it forms the dragon, and it says Dragon Ball Z. I'm not going to do that right now. What I think is cool, I also own every one of the Blu-ray version that they made. And what I think is awesome about these new Blu-ray ones is that three of them combined makes a full picture. I thought the whole entire thing made the picture, but it didn't. Just these three made the beginning part. And then you got the next three, like the Android Saga leading up to these Cell games. Which I think is really awesome. But I borrowed his VHS tapes, watched them, fell in love with this show. And it's just one of my absolute favorite things on this planet. And there's the final three leading up to season nine of the Kid Boo saga. Um, I don't think no, they didn't. They don't have a side picture. Like it was flipping like a pancake. And then finally, I got the season one of Dragon Ball Super. That came in the mail. Finally. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the beginning. It's like, Dragon Ball is back with a brand new storyline by original character, blah, 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 blah. With Majin Buu defeated, Goku has taken a completely new role as a radish farmer. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to swivel, schvizzle, one over here for my movies. This is a random Dragon Ball Z CD, Best of Dragon Ball Z Volume 1. I do not remember how I came across, came upon that. The one and only Dragon Ball GT movie. Kids, if you're watching this, this is a VHS. You put this in a VCR and you play it and you have to rewind it over time. I know, those things are ancient. But, you know, that's what, that's what it was back in the day. Sleeping Princess in Devil's Castle, Mystic Adventure, Path to Power, Dragon Ball movies. Then we got the three pack, which came with all of the uh, movies Dead Zone, World's Strongest, Tree of Might, Lord Slug, Cooler's Revenge. Then you got Return of Cooler, Super Android 13, Broly, and Bojack Unbound. Broly is a badass. Broly's Second Coming. Bio of Broly, Fusion Reborn, and Wrath of the Dragon. I saw something online that they might bring Broly back for the new Dragon Ball Super Show. I think that might be really awesome. The History of Trunks, Father of uh, Bardock for Blu-ray. And we'll try to update all me, all me movies. Sounded stupid there. All my movies to Blu-ray if I can. Uh, this is a steelbook edition, really nice uh, 
Dublick of Coolard. Uh, Battle of Gods, which I was so happy that Akora Toriyama is doing more Dragon Ball Z stuff. I was so happy about it. And that's uh, actually Ginyu. He's no longer a frog anymore. There's another VHS that came in a protective case like this for you younglings. Super Android 13. Bojack Unbound. This is the edited version. Wish I had the uncut version. Uh, Broly Legendary Super Saiyan, which is my favorite. And then Broly Second Coming. I also, I don't think I'll show you guys, but I wanted to do something, a quick, quick kind of look down here. Oh God, I need to clean my room, got so much shit. Down here is all of my VHS collection of Dragon Ball Z. It's got Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT. No, I do not own them all. The only one I do own all of is Dragon Ball GT. I own every stinking one of them. Out of Dragon Ball Z, I want, I want to say I'm missing about four or five VHS tapes. Dragon Ball, I'm missing quite a bit. But, uh, like, I can easily get them all if I wanted to. And you're getting a sneak peek of my action figures, by the way. But that's going to be shown more detailed in the next video. I remember back in the day, it was for, like, birthday and Christmas, I would get money. And I would order from the Z Store. It's what it was called on, like, www.zstore.com. And I would order the VHS tapes of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT and all them. And they come in the mail and it was like the best birthday, best Christmas ever. But uh, yeah, that was my Dragon Ball Z and all that uh, movies and uh, box sets and mangas and all that stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I can't think of anything else at the moment. It's actually almost time for a bed. I gotta go to work tomorrow, unfortunately. But I will see you guys in the next video. Dooskies.